Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering, applied control engineering. This time we are going to try to use our system here, where we are again heating up this, this metal part. Okay, so you know the system from different videos. We want to tune our control loop here according to Ziegler and Nichols. Okay, this is our goal. So the first thing we need to know uh, we need to do is to tune, to use a P-controller, yeah? plain P-controller, and to find out the critical gain factor of the P-controller so that we have a nice and steady swing. Okay, so we need the critical gain and we need, we need the, the time period of the corresponding swing. Okay, I have already used a gain factor. So here on the Arduino currently there is a, a proportional controller running and the gain factor is set to 10. Yeah. I've started this some time ago and well the result is stable. So 10 seems to be of below. Yeah. So next thing we are going to try is 50. Yeah. So Change the, change the gain factor to 50 and try. Well, this is the next step. Okay, so I've adjusted it to 50 now. Uh, currently I have not plugged in the external power, so the 12 volt for, for heating it up. So we will see it is still cooling down. Yeah? And you also hear it's quiet in here. This is because this cooling fan is not working. When I replug it now, this 12 volt, we will hear the cooling fan again, and then we will see the reaction of the of the temperature. Since this is only a P controller, there is no issue about this, yeah? because a P controller is not winding up or something like this. Yeah? With an I controller, I would have an issue, yeah? because this then I part would grow and grow and grow and grow and so on. Wind up, we've talked about this. So plug in and see if this is now, well, we have a disturbance, yeah? so it seems there is a, we have an electromagnetic influence somehow, yeah? but it does not really matter. Okay, now we're heating up, proportional factor now is 50, so high. Yeah? I would expect now we see some swing, with 10 there was nothing. It's insanely high. You see every, I mean, it's a digital thermometer. Huh? So you can see every step. This seems to swing, I would say. Let's wait. Uh -huh. This is lower now. Maybe it's still disappearing over time. Okay, so it seems to swing. Okay, let's wait the last peak. Here you already see the disadvantage. Something is swinging and the, the correcting variable is really, really going up and down like crazy. Yeah? If we would have this on a real system, which is, you know, making a sound and so on, this would really sound frightening. Yeah? And maybe we would then also use another approach. I just now set the KP value to insanely high value. Yeah? And we are, seems for sure above the critical, the critical gain value. Yeah? Usually you cannot do this. Yeah? You, do, you, you only try to go up in smaller steps yeah? on a real system where you can do it, destroy something. Well, it's a real system, but then it's getting a little bit too hot. Yeah? There is nothing. It's just electronic components. So it's, it's not destroying something. Yeah, we're safe. Here we see with again a factor of, of 50 we are above. So 10 we were below, 50 we are above. So we're trying in the middle 30. 
Okay, next try, 30. Okay, now 30. We'll plug it in again, the heating power, and see if 30 is already good enough that we will swing. Huh? Let's see what is happening here. Okay, first thing we have now, let's see if it's swinging again or if it's this maybe it's getting smaller because we are now not producing that much of an overshoot. Yes, it is smaller. Could really be that this is now stabilizing. Still not sure, still not sure if this is now some stable swinging or not. Almost looks that way, but let's wait some more periods. Ah, now I'm pretty sure it seems like this is also swinging, so 30 is also above our critical value. You see, we're doing some, some sort of a binary search algorithm. We used 10, we used 50, we used now the half. This was still above, now we're using again the half, so this is, this is 20. Okay? Next try, proportional factor 20. Okay, so 20 now. Already plugged in, already heating up again. Let's see if it's swinging or not. Again, wait. Patience. Patience cannot be bought. Can be bought. Huh? But you need to bring it with you. Control engineers. Yeah? Looking lazy, but actually something is going on. Yeah? So we have to wait to analyze. It must not swing above, okay? If this is now a stable swinging, we are also above the critical gain factor. Huh? Let's see if this is still swinging with a stable, if it's still going up and down with a stable swinging simply. One digit up and down is not a swing, yeah? then we might see the effect of, of the digital number. Yeah? There is one number and there is the other number, there is no number in between. So if we now keep on switching between two values, yeah? this we are then below, below the critical gain factor because you know this one is slightly too, too low and the other switching is slightly too high, so it must switch. It has to switch. Yeah, it doesn't really matter about the gain factor. Well, a little bit, of course, because the more the gain factor is, the more, the more this this switching step is. But for me, this looks stable. This looks stable. So 20, 20 we are, yeah, is below the critical gain factor. Yeah? Next thing we're going to try, 25. 30 was a, too high, 20 was too low, so 25 we are doing. 25. Next try, wait. Okay. Heating already, everything is settled. Wait, what is happening? Might be stable as well. Let's see. 
it's getting smaller and smaller the swing you see if you only look two swings it looks like it's not stable anymore yeah but if you take longer time you see there are small differences in each of those swings yeah? so taking into account all possible information you might see yeah because clearly on the on the correcting variable you see it much better that this is getting smaller than up here in the real controlled variable use every information you've got to analyze your system The closer we get, of course, to the to the critical value, the longer it would take to us for us to determine if we are already above the critical value. If the swing is stable or not, right now it does not look that way for me. Okay, so this really looks for me like a stable swinging and it is uh, you know, very close to, 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 to really being stable, to disappear, I would say, because yeah, every, every step looks pretty much the same now. Let's see, let's wait some, something, because we want to know, we want to know the period time as well yeah, of the stable swinging. I guess we are pretty close to the critical gain factor. I will not change it. If this is now turning out to be really, uh, really the way that is not stopping the swing, you know, it's only three digits going up and down. This is pretty almost stable, but still swinging. This is seems to be very close to the critical gain factor. The only thing we have to to uh, look into is is the time period of the swing. Okay, so let's measure the the swinging period time. We'll freeze this. Let's see here and here. We are at 62 seconds here and here. We are at 66 seconds here and here. 58 seconds. Let's proceed. Freeze. Go in the middle, go here also in the middle, these are two, 60 seconds, 120, it seems like 60 seconds, huh? seems to be now the swinging period. Now we have to find out the corresponding parameters of our controller according to Ziegler and Nichols, and there are those rules, yeah? And I've made an Excel sheet for this. Here you see critical gain factor. I've already put in 25. If I change this, all the parameters are changing down here. And we said 25 it is, and there is a critical time of 60. So, and I want to control this with a PI controller. So these would be my parameters I've to use in my PI controller, according to Ziegler and Nichols. I will adjust this now, these PI parameters, and then we take a look how this is looking. Okay? If this is looking okay, then we would have a tuned controller according to Ziegler and Nichols. We'll do this. Okay, so parameters are adjusted. We're running currently at around 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah. 
set point in is set to 45 degree, we will see what those parameters we adjusted now uh, will bring. So let's trigger the set point. Let's wait. What will happen? Looking strange. Huh? Looking strange. <laughs> I will not wait until this is finished. Uh, we can clearly see this is not optimized. Yeah? This is, well, it's a method. Yeah? And maybe, uh, not maybe, there are for sure elements where it's working pretty good, yeah? but now not. Okay? With this element, it seems not. Yeah? The reason. I don't really know, maybe it is really the method, maybe it is because it's a digital controller, maybe it is just a system, huh? that this system is simply not suitable for, it simply is too, too slow. Okay? Anyway, this is how you would tune something according to Ziegler and Nichols. Okay? Now you've seen it in a real example. For this time, thank you very much for listening, goodbye.